Hello and welcome to 48, a Thief 2 Fair mission by Cara Davin. So this is the first in a short series uh, of missions that were all done, well, series in terms of the videos I'm doing, not series in terms of these missions are all interconnected. But all these missions were made for the 48 hour contest back in 2013. Uh, I haven't read the exact rules, but I believe they're all made in 48 hours, so we should expect little in the way of uh, playtime, polish, and hopefully lots in the way of uh, interesting ideas rushed into a, a small space. We'll see. Uh, I'm playing them in order from the lowest score to the highest score. So, uh, you know, broadly speaking, they should probably get more interesting and more fun as, uh, as we get to the end of this short series. However, um, I enjoy pretty much every Steve Fair mission I've ever played, even if it's janky as fuck. So, uh, let's get going. Uh, first, I guess, read the short briefing. Two friends disappeared off the streets yesterday and are suspected dead. My old friend Basso informed me that they most likely were taken to become slaves in the underground slave trade. He told me that Lord Gravehold is suspected to be the local ringleader for this operation, and may hold the key to my missing friend's whereabouts. If anything, I want to find out what went down. 48. This place looks fancy. Maybe you can find some loot. We go all the way up to Expert, we get an extra objective, there must be some way I can find what happened to my friends. Seeing as that's kind of the purpose, the reason we're here all together, I'm gonna go with Expert. Alright, we got... Storage room. Well, I mean, this room's pretty fancy for... 48 hours. We have to get on. He's just standing there watching some loot and not going anywhere. Do have a blackjack. No repairs. I have a healing potion. Oh, they've got that fancy object in. Alright. Hmm. I've seen things. Now you're not. Well, I will come back and look at that loot in a minute, but let's get some loot that doesn't have a guard watching it. Anything up there that does look like those. You know what? I think I'm gonna need it. I don't have any ropes. I'm gonna need something to stand on here. Hmm. Nothing. It's never really anything. Grab a couple crates. I guess it's nothing now. Your peripheral vision, mate, it's just this time the shift. It'll lead you astray. I gotta calm down. Fourth time the shift now. Probably just the wind. What is that? In case he's gonna hear anything. Oh, those are all valuable. Okay. Can't tell if anything there it might be. Nothing on top. Right, let's move these. So I can more easily check these shelves. Quiet. Is any of this valuable? No, I guess not. Doesn't look like it. Alright. I think we're done with this room. No one's going to mind the few boxes being there, I don't think. How am I going to get that statue? Well, first we deal with that. Someone say something. Mm, do I have... A nice corner to hide in. <coughs> Not really, you know what? Who's there? Get out here where I can see you. Oh, there's a ring there too. Okay. Dead, I tell you, as soon as I find you. It's just a pelted guy throwing boxes around again. You know what? I should have sent him into the kitchen, because then I could have made a move. Uh, instead of sitting here waiting for him, just move on down the hallway, snuff the gas lights. I mean, I can snuff the gas lights anyway, right? Maybe. 
Maybe not. Coward, face me like a man. Yeah, my aim is terrible. I mean, you must come this way. I mean, this is still gonna be quite uh, more on the alert than usual for a little while. So we're running out into the light. Is he might just pick up on me out of the corner of his eye. Well, let's find out. Let's not waste time. Let's just do the experiment. Ah, hey. Yeah, he did. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to knock him I on the head out. Piece of you. You can, you can have a piece of this. All right. Fine. Sleep. I mean, I could have knocked him out to begin with, it would have saved time and effort, but the downside of distraction tactics in Thieves, they work well if you don't have to be near the distracted guard for several minutes afterwards. They don't work well if, if you do have to be. Nothing. Well, that's something, isn't it? No? This is. What's this say? Attention! All staff are brief with me at the beginning of every shift. I have a new checklist of duties for every one of you, and it must be presented and discussed before you begin work. This is mandatory. Henrietta. And poor penniless guards. I should be listening at these doors first to see if there's any, uh... I can't hear anybody inside. Harrietta! Different name. Please inform yourself, oh, or else she doesn't bother to properly learn the names of her uh, stuff. Unless I got it wrong, unless I misread it. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm the, the terrible person here. It does say Henrietta. She wrote her name as Henrietta, and. the. 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 the whatchamacallit, uh, uh, Lord of the Manor or whatever is calling her Harrietta. Please inform your staff that this next month requires everyone to be alert. Someone must be on hand and nearby to my wife at all times. She is to be assisted with everything she does. I don't want her lifting anything or walking too far. Any attendant who travels with her must have a portable seat with him or her so that she can rest at any moment she needs to. The guards are aware of her condition and are also on alert, but I do not want them distracted from their duties to guard my precious wife and baby. If I hear that any of your staff is not there to do menial tasks, I will act accordingly. I'm sorry to make such a threatening statement, especially when you lose the other half of the letter, or that I had to make this mission in a hurry and didn't make sure that the text would fit on one page. Either way, heed my words. Lord, what's his face? I'm sure, there's another reason. Over there. Nobody. Nobody, nobody. Oh, can I douse those? They look. Uh, looks like nothing. They look like candles. Nobody better be taffing around down here. I cannot tell some. What? All right, what was that? Damn. Oh, looks like it's peaceful again. Chicky, chicky, chicky. I suppose I can use another one of these. I'm so tired of walking. Well, you can stop walking for a bit. Come on, up till I find oh, I think we, I think we uh, riled some people up with that murder we just did. Whoops. Oh well. So we don't need to do too much sneaking past them, or, or we might have to do more, more murders. Oh, it does look like some sneaking. You will not belong. Oh. Whoops. Well, maybe we're not going to get to do much more sneaking. Let's see if we can lose them. Sneaky run around. Don't worry, I'll find you. 
<laughs> it sounds like we lost them. All right. Couldn't this guy afford more furniture? Yes, he had to build his entire mansion in 48 hours, but surely he was rich enough to afford 10,000 servants and slaves to build it for him. After all, he's in the underground slave trade. They could have they could have built him an underground mansion. Oh dear, these are all locks needing a key. I wonder if one of those two guards that just run past has the key that I need. Don't need a mirror. <laughs> Nothing hiding on top of the fireplace. Oh dear. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna bet that one of those two had the key. Oh well, this is how we extend Plato. It's all a cunning ploy. Plumbing coy. Where are they? Are they still looking for me downstairs? <laughs> that lamp is backwards on the wall. As is this one. Oh well. Things you do when working quickly. <laughs> they are still looking for me downstairs, but do they have the key? The yellow and purple guy doesn't seem to. Can't quite tell what's the, what's the other one. I could do some snipery, but Get back here, you coward! No, he doesn't seem to have a key either. Maybe he does, and it's very hard to see against the background. Come out here now. <coughs> he definitely doesn't. Well, let's. Oh shit! I think he just saw me. He wasn't seeing me as long as I didn't move, but now he's seeing me again. Alright. Ah, you're making me so mad, I'm hopping mad! Jumping up and down the spot mad! I can't even oh, find my path that mad! Quite funny, really. Come back out here, you oh, now the other guy's rattled up there, okay. Be on guard. I think there was something a while back. Yellow and purple guy. Yellow and purple guy. I can shoot, but where did he go now? Oh my God! A murder! Yep. Gonna be another one in a minute. This is your last chance. Step <laughs> out here. I won't hurt you. Oh yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna hurt you. That's the whole plan here. Yeah. Right, so you have a key. You do not have a key. Okay. It would have taken too long to wait for them to settle down and blackjack them. So you know, murder it is. Ha ha ha. Do you think I'm some some normal Gareth who takes pride in his work? No, I'm I'm trying to play through this mission in less than forty eight minutes. So, well, I don't have a time limit. I just made that up. But you don't have a key. Was there a key in one of these rooms that I missed? Because it'd be kind of funny if I. I mean, I can maybe I should, maybe I should forget about keys and just go break the doors down. You know. Maybe there's a convenient key hanger on this pillar. Maybe those guards could not could have kept their lives and only the doors would have had to lose theirs. Maybe there's a key on this odd railing. Oh, that's 
Imagine we're playing any wood. Right. Nothing here. Oh, little corner. Okay, never mind. Carry on. As best we can without the implements of unlocking. <clears throat> Four doors. Let's hope they're breakable as they should be. Oh dear. This might not be a viable plan then. Okay, there. They're just not making that. It's not making that. You can break the sounds. All guards be on alert. Mrs. Greyfold is expecting within the next month. This requires diligent efforts on all your parts. I expect every guard to look his best, act his best, and be at his best at all times. Do not overlook anything. The security of Mr. Greyfold's wife and her baby is utmost. Check every door and window twice and run patrols as if your life depends on it. First and foremost, make sure to check in on Mrs. Greyfold every moment you can and that she is comfortable or doesn't need anything. Captain Mason. If you're paying the guards extra, then you know, if you want above average performance, you should be giving above average pay. Oops, missed. Captain Mason, I'm sure you understand how important my wife and child are to me. I'm writing you to express some concerns. First, that drunken guard on the third floor either needs to be dismissed or at least punished for his behaviour so he understands that he is not to drink while on duty. Also, my wife, being so close to birth, has to go to the bathroom regularly, so I expect that the guards will check in on her with utmost diligence. If she needs to go to the bathroom, she is to have an escort. If she wants to walk to the first floor, then she must have guards around her at all times to make sure she is safe on the stairs. When the moment happens, the guards had better be on top of it. Yes, we're bringing you to be midwives now as well. You, your guards will be responsible for the entire birth. If the baby cries too loudly, I will be docking your pay. If the baby doesn't cry enough, I will be attacking the lot of you. Some one, one to the thief comes down and breaks all my fine doors. Well, uh, you know, that's just, that's fine, that happens, we'll just get some new doors, but you're on the hook for everything else. Hello? The thief finds my secret door and does not find the secret switch for it because the thief foolishly thought they could lockpick it. Well, then we laugh at the thief and send more guards in after them. If the thief thought maybe the switch was hiding under the desk then oh, okay, I'll stop this by reading out the letter thing because it's and it doesn't make any sense no, this is uh, odd I'm not seeing any sign of a of a lever anywhere Maybe the lever is hiding in here somewhere. Maybe I need to get more information on it. Maybe there is a key for it. Maybe I can break it down too, but first we've got one more normal door to bust. No, nothing in this room at all. Locked up to make sure it's perfectly safe. Well, I guess this will be the kids' room when they're a little bit older and they just haven't decided on how they want to decorate it yet. 
All right, well, since I, my lockpicks don't seem to function at all, and I haven't found a single key, and I haven't found a lever for that secret door, I think I, I'm going to have to use my uh, universal lockpick on it, because, you know, the big lockpick. Nothing else seems to be viable here. Let's hope this one works. We banished it. Oh. Wait, you keep the slaves in a room just off your wife's bedroom? I guess maybe it's your bedroom too. Oh. Find out what happened to your friends. Um... Hmm. Looks like a door as well. It isn't. Now, so no scripting has worked. So maybe I. Quiet phone. Uh, maybe I should have checked the forums first to see if there are any scripting fixes, because it's quite possible it's just something. It should be happening, because obviously we found out what happened to them, right? We haven't found any hard evidence, I suppose, but I can't imagine what else is the answer. I also can't imagine why there's no keys anywhere. Hmm. I've been in all these other doors, right? I just closed them behind me. the captain of the guard. This is the other guards. Right, I'm just going to run back to the start. We found some loot. We found 345. There doesn't seem to be any more. Maybe this is hiding secrets untold somewhere, but... Uh, well, at the moment, it seems... Seems not. You didn't have a key, and then I just didn't search these people so thoroughly. Yeah, I would have expected some kind of smoking gun evidence, but... Um, all we have is, you know... He... strong circumstantial evidence of, of his involvement in the slave trade. It would... Probably not class master in a highly biased court of law run by the upper class for the upper class. You know, he just likes having a room where all his drunken party guests can crash. So there's a lot of beds and some, you know, buckets of water for them to freshen up with and some other buckets for them to, you know, deal with their drunken vomiting that tends to happen. <laughs> All perfectly normal, officer. Yeah. All right. And unless this guy happens to have a key I never noticed, which, you know, I would not put it past me ever to notice. No, he doesn't. I am going to say we're done. We have... We have finished here. I guess I... Hmm. What I was just saying is, I guess I haven't got a screenshot, but I wonder what a good screenshot might be. Probably that starting room, to be honest. I'm not sure there's anything else. All right, well, we'll we'll call it done. About that, this is this is basically all this mission has to offer. And fair enough. So, thanks for watching, and uh... oh look, we won. That was all the loot. Yeah, okay. No secrets marked. So I guess there's just some scripting that failed to trigger there. That's fine. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you here for the next mission from the 48-hour contest.